Welcome to Mission Science and today we're going to build an edible cell model. Let's start with making the cell. For this you're going to need a number of things. You will need some sandwich bags, some jello, two large plastic cups, some gelatine and some fruit juice like lemonade. Place the plastic bag into the cup. In the cell model, the plastic bag represents the membrane. If you are building a plant cell, the cup can represent the cell wall. Today we are going to build an animal cell. Start by mixing half the jello and half the gelatin with two cups of lemonade and mix it well. Next, take two cups of boiling water and add this to the mixture. Stir it really really well until all the jello and all the gelatin has fully dissolved. Next, pour the mixture into the cups. You can fill them nearly all the way to the top. Just make sure that you don't put too much in so that it spills as you move it to the fridge. I should have mentioned earlier, but the jello will represent the cytoplasm. Place the cups into the fridge and leave them there until the jello has set. Let's move on to building the cell model. Take the jello cups out of the fridge and just make sure that they've set fully. As I said earlier, we're going to build an animal cell and this is represented by just the plastic bag and the jello. But for ease of making our cell model, we're going to leave the bag in the cup for now. The first part that we're going to add to our cell model is the nucleus. The nucleus is represented by cherries. You can use fresh cherries or you can use cherries from a jar. To place it into the jello, use your finger or you can use the end of a fork, knife or spoon. Next up are the mitochondria. The mitochondria are represented by craisins. In a cell, mitochondria can number from between one to a couple of thousand. We normally only add a small handful to our model. Here's how our cell model is looking so far. It's now the turn of the endoplasmic reticulum both rough and smooth. We are using rips to represent the rough endoplasmic reticulum. We think that the sugar on the outside of this candy reminds us of the ribosomes that are present on the outside of the rough endoplasmic reticulum. The smooth endoplasmic reticulum doesn't have ribosomes attached to the outside. For this, we have used a small piece of fruit roll-up. Push it along with the rough ER into the gel. Next, we're going to add in the Golgi complex. For this, we're going to use a piece of fruit roll up. I think it looks a little bit like the Golgi complex if you fold it over and back on itself, just like this. Okay, we're nearly there. It's now the turn of the lysosomes. Lysosomes, we are using gushers. Lysosomes break down waste material in the cell. We think that the inside of gushers reminds us of what a lysosome does. Push some lysosomes into the gel using the end of a spoon, fork or knife or your fingers. The final piece of our cell model are the ribosomes. Ribosomes are where proteins are made in the cell. For these, we're using nerds. Place a small handful of nerds into the gel. Push them down using your finger or as it before, the end of a fork, spoon or knife. I find my finger works best for these. So that's it guys. Your cell model is now complete with nucleus, mitochondria, rough and smooth ER, the Golgi complex, ribosomes and lysosomes. But for me, the best part about this experiment is that at the end, I get to eat it all up. We hope you guys have had fun. Enjoy. And we hope to see you again soon. Bye.